Trudeau's clueless musings on O Canada. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel Dot Media. Our esteemed Prime Minister has a warning for his fellow Canadians. Don't mess with the national anthem. But it's not a warning that comes from what he and his fellow Liberals are doing in the House of Commons. It's all because of this. True patriot love in all thy sons command. We're all brothers and sisters. All lives matter to the great. That's right, Remigio Pereira, the fourth tenor, the guy that lost his job in the band because of screwing with the lyrics of the national anthem. He's the guy that Justin Trudeau's warning against. Listen to what he said in an interview with Global News. I think people, whether it's a particularly off-the-wall rendition of it or changing the words of it, I think artists need to be very, very careful when they try to express themselves through a piece that is so cherished and symbolically important for Canadians. He's absolutely clueless because he's in the middle of changing something that is cherished and symbolically important for Canadians. He and his fellow Liberals are changing the lyrics to O Canada and they're barely even letting Canadians know about it. There's no consultations, there's no long period of discussion on it. It's just ramming it through because the MP that decided to sponsor the bill to make the lyrics gender neutral, change in all thy sons command to in all of us command, well, he's dying of Lou Gehrig's disease. And we've got to pass the bill fast, so they rammed it through committee, they broke all the rules. Now he's turning around and, and chastising the fourth tenor. But look at the reaction of Canadians when they realize what Remigio Pereira had done. They freaked out. They didn't like it. They said, you don't mess with the anthem. It was discussed for days. Don't you think maybe we should have done that with what Parliament wants to do? But there, there was a political agenda. It was showing the Conservatives that they could do what they wanted. It was showing the public that they could do what they wanted without letting the public even know. They kept a lid on this because they didn't want to face the same kind of backlash that Stephen Harper faced when he proposed changing the anthem. Trudeau's right. Don't mess with a song so important, so cherished. So the question is, Justin, why are you doing it? Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.